of video, we're just going to cover some um, some simple maintenance tips for the um, Aussie Sapphire 6x6 Arbor. Um, as Angus showed you before, just press the little black segment to unhook, unhook any of the hose fittings. So we're just going to go through, just pull the belt cover off. But the belt will need tensioning from time to time. So I've, I've just removed the four set screws that hold the belt cover on. Uh, I've just taken the four thumb nuts, one, two, three, four, off the top plate that um, holds all the taps. I'll just sit that over there, Angus. <coughs> so and we touched on this before, but if you didn't see the last video, belt tension around about 12, 16 millimetre. Don't over tension. If you over tension, you'll hear it uh, throbbing. Um, if, it, if you're under tension, the belt can get the, get the wobbles up. Um, so it, just, yeah, around about 12 mil, 15 millimetre. Um, if you need to tension change, these four bolts in the motor, and <coughs> there's long slots there, it's pretty much adjusted towards the top. So you've got all this adjustment to go down. There's... <coughs> We've actually changed to a four, four year sealed for life bearing. We were using greasable bearings in cast hubs, um, thinking it was a stronger, more robust idea. But it actually, the rubber mounted bearings have proven over the time to cause less vibration. And uh, we've gone that way to, um, to minimise the noise. There's, it's really, they're a simple machine. There's, um, there's two set screws in the cast pulley opposite each other <coughs> on both sides. There's Allen keys provided in the set. <coughs> so one of those will fit that, and one of them will fit the taper lock pulley. We've gone to the taper lock pulley. Um, if you ever do have a motor problem, sometimes we find that pulley seize to the shaft with the taper locks we'll show in another video how to easily remove the pulleys and reuse the pulley it's a half inch horsepower motor um, they're pretty foolproof if they do if they do play up um, they're very simple to change we go around now to the wheel side of things um, because they're pretty they're a very basic machine there's not much can go wrong with them so we um, we fit the wheels prior to dispatch, test run the machine to make sure everything's running as it should. When you need to change wheels, you just need to remember that they're left hand threads, so always go down to loosen on both sides and up to tighten. This is so when the machine's working, it tends to tighten the nut itself and not loosen the nut. So yeah, just remember to take them off, go down on both sides and go up on both sides to tighten them. The, um, the soft wheels can get a memory from sitting for a fair while when they've been damp. Simply the weight of the water tends to congregate at the bottom part of a wheel where it's been sitting for an extended time. Sometimes when you start up after this, you can get a vibration until the wheel settles down. Usually it will settle down you know, within a matter of an hour or two of operation. Let's make sure I get those back up again. If you find a wheel is out of balance and it won't come good, you'll normally you normally be able to feel feel a high spot, and if you if you use a stone or whatever you're polishing with, you'll almost see a high spot in the wheel. If you slightly loosen, <coughs> turn the wheel about a quarter of a turn, and re-tighten, and operate again. 
and just continue to do this until you get the best balance you can uh, until the wheel settles itself down which it will after some time there's really not much else to go wrong um, stainless steel still better off to wipe it down um, stainless will still stain anyone's got a fridge or anything and the kids put their hands on it it will still stain but it'll last a lifetime uh, we carry all the parts um, and the machines are ready to go thanks